H-E-L-L-O. I'm the interpreter for Carl Defman's deposition. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't call. The appointment has been cancelled. I'm so sorry you had to come all the way down here. Oh, it's no problem. No, really, I'm very sorry you came all the way down here for nothing. It's really no problem at all. It's all part of the job. I'm so sorry about that. Because now you won't get paid. Of course I will. You cancelled with less than 24 hours notice. In fact, you cancelled with less than 15 minutes notice so I still get paid. I will use the time to go to a bookstore and read magazines. That's ridiculous. Why should I pay when I haven't used the service? I won't do it. You agreed to the terms of the service contract. I can't reserve time for people and then risk them cancelling and leaving me without the opportunity to pick up a replacement work. Well, I'm not going to pay the invoice. I didn't use the service. Let me ask you something. When did Mr. Defman cancel his appointment with you? About an hour ago. So you won't charge him for the appointment? Of course I will. He consulted late and as a lawyer my time is very valuable. So you charge people for your time even if they cancel and don't use your service? I charge people for any time I spent thinking about them. And since I am the one who accounts for the hours I can charge as many as I want with no oversight. That's evil. I won't pay this invoice. That's fine with me. The billing matter is really between you and the agency. I get paid no matter what happens between the two of you. You charge too much anyway. I couldn't believe what they're charging me for this appointment. What do you mean? They're charging me $375 an hour with a two-hour minimum for last-minute legal. Because I forgot to request an interpreter until last night. That's insane. How hard can it be to find an interpreter? I told them it's not really a legal job because it's not in court. Will you be representing Mr. Defman in his case? Yes. Will this deposition be used as a part of the case? Yes. So this deposition is part of your effort to represent Mr. Defman in a case that you will argue in court? Yes. So then it has legal bearing and is considered a legal job. But the cost is too much. It's like, it's like, it's like... Like hiring a lawyer. Well, yes. But I had to go to grad school and pass a test to become a lawyer. I have a master's degree in interpreting. I have to pass four certification exams. I took extra classes to become well-versed in the legal system. How do you think I ended up here? I figured you knew a deaf person at your church and did this on a volunteer basis to fill your time while you wait for your husband to come home from his real job. Unlike lawyers, there are less than 2,000 people in the United States who are qualified to do what I do at this level. What I do on a cognitive level is somewhat extraordinary. Not only do I have to know everything you know, I have to be able to follow the fucked up legal syntax you use to keep yourself out of trouble. I have to take all of that and relay it in another language. Then I have to do the same thing for your client. I am probably better at my job than you are at yours. Given a couple years I will probably be better at your job than you are. After all my years doing this I have passed the Microsoft Office certification four times. I can administer an Oracle database. I can write SQL code. And C++. And XML. I know more about basic math, American history, English, basic science, and Spanish than most high school teachers. The only people who score higher as a group on the GRE are going to MIT. I am a linguistic dynamo. I am also an unregistered nurse. You are a low-level associate at a personal injury firm that advertises on buses. You must be rich. Since you charge so much for your service. I am not rich. I do not make $375 an hour. I charge the agency $75 an hour for legal work. The rest of the money goes to paying for overhead, scheduling and support staff and a BMW for each member of the owner's family. From my fee I pay my own health insurance, liability insurance, social security taxes, and 401k. I would like to hire you. What do you mean? You only charge $75 an hour. That is less than what I pay the agency. I want to hire you directly instead. You cannot do that. 
Because I booked this job through the agency, you can only hire me through them. Why? I want to hire you directly to save money. Why can't I hire you directly? Because that would be unethical. What is unethical? Circumventing the agency and hiring me directly. No. I mean what does the word unethical mean? Oh right. You're a lawyer. If I solicit business from you all here representing the agency I am then undercutting their business and stealing clients from them. If interpreters do this then the agency will go out of business and the owner's kids will have to go to state school. The fear of this will cause the agency to stop hiring interpreters who steal clients and will lead to chaos and ruin for all involved. It's also just wrong. But I can pay you more than you charge them. But still less than I pay them. It's win-win. Not for the poor kid who is to go to state school. You should just make deals yourself instead of working with the agency. I do both. You should work for free instead of charging so much. I do both. You should start your own agency and make more money. I am not qualified to run an interpreting agency. I know too much about interpreting. You will not find anyone like me in the upper management structure of most interpreting agencies. However, they perform a valuable service. Because I work with the agency I won't have to fight with you about this bill. My check is guaranteed. Well, I should go. I'm sorry you had to come all the way down here. Me too.